All right, welcome to a whole new chapter. Um, and this will start from lesson or session 15. And that's a big chapter on deep learning. And today's going to be an introduction where I will mainly explain what deep learning is and how we got here. Yeah? A little bit of the history issues that we, we struggled with over the past 50 years and how we solved it. So uh, basically we started with AI and machine learning um, comprehensive course and we quickly saw in the beginning that AI is everything that has to do with the automation of thought. So a calculator is AI, uh, Excel is AI, yeah. um, and then we have machine learning as a subset of AI where the machine is actually learning. Yeah. And in machine learning we had supervised, unsupervised and reinforcement learning. Here we only take a look at supervised learning. What does supervised learning mean? That means that you give the machine examples. You give him the features and you give him the labels. So, um, let me first uh, show you the contrast with traditional computer. The way we know computing, or most of you will know computing, is this model here. You have features that are inputs, you have a computer that has a program that runs on these features and gives you labels. Yeah? i give you an example. Um, you could have here the numbers 2, 6, 8. You could write a program that multiplies these features with 2 and then the labels will be 4, 12, 16. This is how we know computer. Machine learning is different. In machine learning, we give the machine 2, 6, 8, but we also give the machine the outcome. 4, 12, 16. And then we ask the machine to train on these uh, training samples and give you the model. So the outcome of the machine here should be times two. Yeah, so it's totally different. You give the machine features and labels and you ask the machine to find a function that maps these features to these labels. Now, this is shallow learning. Why? Because there's only one step between feature labels and the model. Yeah? And all we looked at up to this point on, in terms of supervised learning has been shallow learning. I put shallow between brackets because you don't hear the name very often. If people talk about machine learning, they usually mean shallow learning. When they mean deep learning, they will call it deep learning. Yeah? So what is deep learning? Well, it's exactly the same. Deep learning supervised means you have the features and the labels that you feed into the machine and the machine comes out with a model. So here again you have um, 2, 6, 8 and here again you have 4, 12, 18 and the model the computer will find is, will still be times 2. It's exactly the same context. But instead of doing one step between feature labels and model, you do many steps. And that's why it's called deep learning. So you have an input layer, yeah, input. You have what we call a hidden layer, hidden. And you have an output layer. Okay. So more about this later, but I want you to grasp what the difference is between shallow and deep learning. So it's very simple, a one-step approach versus a multi-step approach. Now we will see that doing things multi-step has benefits for certain applications, mainly for uh, natural language processing and everything that has to do with, with computer vision recognizing if a picture is a cat or a dog 
being able to recognize uh, um, when looking at an MRI scan if the patient has a tumor or no tumor. Yeah. So deep learning is definitely the way to go. And what we also see today um, when, you, when you go to Kaggle is that people will actually mix these steps of learning yeah? uh, just, just to, cut, to get to a better output. Yeah.